rest the shading later. When I ink, I really want a nice full flat layer of ink. I know that when it's scanned in, it can be keyed up so that the black is blacker and the white is lighter. But this is a work of art by itself, and someday hopefully someone will want to maybe hang it up. So it should look good all by itself. Yeah, I can't emphasize enough. Uh, where the light falls, how you interpret the light, it is totally up to you and the time you take and what you see as you create your illustration. What you, you're, I'm, I'm looking at the shapes that I made, the, the flat shapes without shading, and it occurs to me, when I look here and there, oh, that's that would be totally flat black. And oh, over here it would be a more, more gradi gradiated, uh, uh, shadow over here and that would blend with the black in this way that's just the stuff that occurs to you as you go and if you're excited about it that's when it occurs to you and I guess that's my number one piece of advice when it comes to determining being creative when you're inking is really if you don't see it don't draw it if you're looking at this at your drawing trying to figure out how the lighting should go and you're just not sure don't just throw something in there it'll show up to you find the place where it's clear to you in, in your drawing what the shading should be and then put that in there and as you build your drawing more and more will occur to you as you go until eventually you're there uh, again that's why I don't envy comic book uh, pencilers because they have to even without using actual black they have to figure it all out figure out all the shading without without inking and if they then actually do shade with their pencil, which is very common, then, where is that, where is it? there it is, then it's very hard for them to uh, figure out the, the inking lines, and find themselves creating a value sketch with, with like a piece of charcoal or something. then they lose some level of input into the design into designing the, the shapes of the lines that are used to hatch. It's a conundrum. I would not want to hand off my inking to someone else. And with that, I gotta go to work. Okay, back again. I've shaken my bottle of ink, cleaned my brush off so it comes to a nice fine point. It's not very dark right here, so I'm going to fill that in a little better. It's the first thing I'll take care of here. As I said before, I know it can be fixed in camera or on the desktop, on the computer, 
be darkened up much more easily. But this is a finished work of art by itself. Somebody, hopefully, might want to hang it up somewhere. Probably my son. And uh, I want it to look good on its own. So I'm just tidying up some of the grayer areas here that the ink, where the ink went on kind of thinly before. This would not work in a production environment. Make it black and put it away and keep on working where you're paid by the page, not by necessarily the quality of each drawing or stroke. Unless, I don't know, it's, it's been done before. People more concerned, artists more concerned with the quality than the page count. And that's where classics are born. Kind of people that get reprinted over and over again and people buy over and over again. Uh, something I, I thought about, I wanted to expound upon, is, is the whole idea of, of what to ink and when. Um, I would said before that it's a bad idea to just feel like Okay, I'm working on the hair right now, so I'm gonna finish the hair. If you don't, if you don't actually see it in your in your mind's eye, if you don't see where you're supposed to be putting the strokes or the blacks or any any particular detail, if you just just ink it automatically. Um, What you want here, I'm going to start with this knee. Right here, I know that that's going to be black. It's going to be silhouetted against a bright background. So I know that I'm going to want this to be what I'm inking right here. I want this much to be black and nothing else. I'm not sure at all about anything else. I said maybe that little bit. There. But I'm not sure about these hatch lines yet. I'm not sure about a whole bunch of things. And so I'm not going to ink those yet just because I'm working on the leg. You want to just be inking what you're sure you should be inking at any given time. Don't let the fact that you're working on one particular part of a, of a drawing or even one particular page if you're doing a whole comic book to, to dictate that you should be inking that thing right then and there. This is a whole work of art. The whole page is a work of art. Now, the, comic book is a, the whole comic book is a, is a work of art. What you should be inking at any given moment is what you are inspired to be inking. Yes, you should start with the blacks first, if at all possible. But more importantly than that, you should be starting with the areas that you are certain should look a certain way. If you have an idea for a certain hatch or shading technique, you should probably be doing that when you have that idea, because that idea is not going to come back to you later on. It's your, it's your one chance to nail it down while you see it in your artwork. I've seen some inking demos where, yeah, well, they all pretty much just go at it and work on one subject at a time. 